Hey friends, so right now it is March 29th, so we have two more days until the end of March, and with it being my first month monetized, I really just wanted to make sure I hit $500. So let me show y'all where I'm at as of right now, March 29th, and how I'm so close to my goal. All right, y'all, you can see my, um, so far my estimated revenue. And mind you, like I said, it's March 29th, so two more days until the month ends. Here's where my RPM is right now. Here's my CPM. And then as you guys can see, just the progression of where I started. So I officially start making money on Tuesday, March 9th. So 20 days ago, you guys, this has happened. So I definitely, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I definitely experienced some, you know, some highs and some lows. So that happens now as a paid YouTuber, you're gonna experience that. But as you see here, it made $40 on the 25th and 30, and it's just more of a gradual progression. So, but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna hit 500 and that's gonna be so sweet. My first YouTube paycheck is gonna be $500, or a little bit over, because we still have two days left, so. That's what we're looking at, looking like right now. All right, you guys, we're looking at March 30th, just the day after I posted um, what I had um, yesterday, the day before. So I believe my revenue was 4.97 and some change. And y'all, look at this! Look at this! That's half of a thousand dollars. Like to me, this is a big deal. I, I am speechless, like, I am speechless. What's up friends, welcome, 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 and welcome back if you are not new here. My name is Alex, and defined by Alex, where we are defining our lives and building our dreams. In today's video, I'm sharing my first ever YouTube paycheck with you guys live so you can see it all for yourself. I really want this video to just showcase how much potential you have as a new YouTuber starting off or even if you're curious about how much you can earn on YouTube if you have no idea. These particular videos were what I watched when I first started my channel and I always thought they were interesting and so now it's my time to share my earnings about how much I'm making on YouTube and the potential that you can make as well especially as a small business owner. So let me go ahead and break down my story as to why I really wanted to start a YouTube channel in the first place. So if you're new here, I am a t-shirt business owner. So I started my t-shirt business last year and amidst of what was going on in the world, I really wanted to make an impact and really stand out for my brand. But I needed the capital to do that. A lot of times, as you guys know, it takes money to make money. And I was just in a position where I really wanted to have extra money on the side to help fund my new business. And so that's where YouTube came in. So I wanted to start it. I was very hesitant, not gonna lie. It took a lot for me to really just step out on faith and take that jump. And now here I am building an empire so you guys can see it, you know, from start to finish finish and it's just a really exciting journey that I've been on so far. Another part of this YouTube journey was that I kind of wanted to work backwards. I wanted to use YouTube as a way to help fund my business but I also wanted to become and step into the influencer space because outside of a business owner there's so many other interests that I have that I wanted to showcase. But that content is coming soon guys so stay tuned for that too. But other than that I really wanted YouTube to be a platform for me to just pretty much step out of my comfort zone. Just prove it to myself and y'all like I am here today I'm about to show you how much I've made in my first month being monetized and where it's going from this present moment and then on so if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel especially now in 2021 I'm telling you guys you're gonna make money you're gonna make money I don't care what anyone else says it may not be a lot starting off but you're going to make money Flat out. So when you start YouTube, if you have no idea how it goes, you have to kind of build yourself up and you have to put yourself out there to where people can come and discover you. It's just like as a business owner, you have to pretty much find your target audience, okay? So you really have to put yourself out there on the front lines and just say, hey, I'm here, I have something to show, I have value to add, watch my video. So that's really what it is. So if you are embarking on this journey, I 
personally recommend that you just go ahead and start because you really never know where it's gonna take you and I promise you there's gonna be so many more doors that's gonna open for you if you just go ahead and just take that leap and do what you gotta do. And that's what I did. So this video right here that you guys see is my most viral video. Now to me, it's viral because it surpassed the growth within a short amount of time. So I'm currently at over 100,000 views on this video and I just started my channel November of 2020. So y'all, that really, that's, that wasn't a long time ago. So if you really think about it, the more work you put into it, the more return you're gonna see. So that's what I really want you to take away from this video is that when you start YouTube, just start with the mindset that you're gonna make money, okay? You're gonna do it. And I'm here to show you the proof of that because all I did was stay consistent. I kept making sure I added value. And then before I knew it, I was monetized. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my desktop and show you guys my first YouTube paycheck and where I'm at sitting for the month of April. So now we're currently in May, so I started off as a fresh month, but I'm gonna show you all of my analytics and show you some things that you can look out for when you're also starting your channel as a small business owner. Okay guys, so right here, I'm just looking at my channel dashboard. So as a YouTube creator, once you become um, a YouTuber, you're gonna have access to your, what's called YouTube studio. And inside that, you have your dashboard. So it's gonna show you like how your videos are performing, things of that nature. And then once you become monetized, you'll be able to see where your revenue is at as well. And so on my left-hand side here, I have my channel dashboard. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> On my left hand side here, I have my menu. So just a list of items that I can go to. I can go to my content. I can go to my playlist. And I can go to my analytics from here as well. The comments and you know things that you guys see here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to dashboard. And I'm gonna go through my channel analytics from this screen because here is a snapshot of where I'm at as far as subscribers, views, hours, and revenue. So as you guys see here in the last 28 days, I've had over 50,000 views, um, over 3,000 watch hours, and then this is what I've made within the last 28 days. But I'm gonna break this down because this is not how much I've made in total. This is just showing me the last 28 days of my revenue. So as I go ahead and dive deeper into my channel analytics, this is what you guys are gonna see once you become um, you know, a YouTuber and once you become monetized. So just starting from the left, again, you have my views. Here are my watch hours, my subscriber count, and what has it, um, it increased to in the last 28 days, followed by my revenue. And then if I scroll down here, I can just see my top videos in this period. So what I know what's doing well, what are people watching, what do you know, what do you guys like to watch? So I can know what type of content I can keep putting out there for you to, you know, enjoy. And then on the right hand side here in real time, it calculates my live subscriber count. So if I were to click on that, it just pops up a separate window and it shows me my channel growth the last 28 days, but I can filter that if I like by custom, um, March, April, May, of course, just everything that I wanna see if I really wanted to break it down even further. And so um, these big like tabs here just pretty much helps you understand where you are, where you're going, what people are watching, how long are they staying on your videos, and all that good stuff. So as you guys can see here, just a little chart how it kind of like goes up and down. So on the seventh, I received this many watch hours you know, the Friday and things like that. So if I really wanted to see where I'm progressing and what I need to improve on, then this is where I come to really like work on that. My subscriber count shows you the same type of graph as well. When you hover to discover, it just shows you how many people are really subscribing in a day. And you know, you get to see how, how you know, how fast your channel can grow based off the number of subscribers. So I had a little low count, but then it spiked for me and then hey it just it really just ebbs and flows you guys so that's one thing you kind of have to get used to or get yourself prepared for I should say when starting a channel because it's really going to be up and down um, for the course of how long you're going to be on YouTube and then going to my revenue for the last 28 days the same type of graph so you'll see how much I made in um, April 5th 
um, the sixth. So each day you get to see how much my revenue was and things like that. I experienced a nice high around the 21st and the 22nd. Then I had a low, you know, I mean, this isn't low for me per se. I think this is still a good amount to make in a day, but um, I know that I can do better, right? And so then kind of closing out April, that's where I was for that. So now let me go ahead and filter down for my first month monetized, which was in March of this year. So my first um, YouTube paycheck was in the amount of $513.34. At that time, I was at around 3,000 subscribers and I had of course got my watch time, so that was already good, but this is what I made on my first month monetized. And then if you guys check out here, I was only eight days in March to make this much money. And so this is what it really shows. So once I got monetized on the first day, they have zero dollars and then it spiked to 1954. Then as you can see here, I had some more highs and lows. That's okay. Experienced some, a few lows and I was like, what's going on? But that's just how the world works. You just have to really know what's gonna, you know, what's gonna be popular as far as your content so that you won't experience so many dips in your revenue. But nonetheless, I powered through and then the more content I came out with that raised my revenue. These little play buttons here is what I published for the month of March. So it shows you like all my videos that caused me to, of course, gain this much revenue for that month. Now, if I wanted to go a little bit deeper and just click on revenue, this is where I'm gonna be able to see how much I'm getting paid and how much advertisers are paying. So if you guys are not new to these videos, you probably hear the phrases CPM and RPM a lot. So your CPM is your cost per meal. So just think of it as what advertisers, I'm sorry. So just think of it as what advertisers are paying to put ads on your videos. That's what CPM is. To move over to RPM, your RPM is what you are gaining for people to watch those ads in your videos, okay? So if that helps you understand the analytics and the logistics behind your revenue and all that stuff, when it comes to your RPM, this is what you are making to see this number, okay? And then this is what the avatars are paying for your videos. Now, if I scroll down here, and mind you, I'm still in March, I'll show you April in a minute, but as I scroll down here, it kind of breaks it down even more, which is what I love. So I can see my most, my monthly revenue, as you guys see here in April, I did really, really well. Um, I had a goal for a thousand, so this is really not that far off. And then so far in May, I've made $21.57. But on the right hand side, you get to see how, what your top earning videos are. And like, y'all see that? No surprise because this is, as I mentioned earlier, this was one of my most viral videos and why a lot of you guys discovered me and this video is my top earning video. Now my goal is to have more than one top earning video but however, as a new YouTuber, I'm completely, utterly thankful because this video is really doing numbers for me. So moving down, now I get to see what type of revenue sources and ad types are also the most popular and what's really adding to my revenue. So for my revenue sources, it's really just gonna be the ad because you don't make much money off of your YouTube premium accounts because for those accounts, if you guys don't know, you can skip the ad. So I didn't make much money there, but I made a lot of money off of the ad revenue alone. And then as far as what type of ads are making the most money, it looks like the skippable video ad. So the video ads that you guys see where it counts down from you watch it for like, I don't know, two minutes and then it counts down and you can skip it where these are the most popular videos that are you know pretty much helping me with my revenue at the moment. So that's what it is for March. So my first month monetized, I brought home $513.34 and I was very happy. Now let me go ahead and go to April because April was a full month being monetized and uh, I got to see where my channel was going and what direction and also again, just really trying to study what people are liking to watch 
how can I improve my channel and drive this revenue up, right? So as you guys can see here, so for the month of April, I'm walking away with $981.05. My RPM grew by 78%, which is tremendous. And then my CPM is at $28.55. So the advertisers are paying around $30. I'm making around $20. Um, I'm just rounding up. And so my revenue hence is almost at a thousand for the month of April. And then going back down again, you get to see my monthly estimated revenue for when I started becoming monetized. So it's gonna start from March and then on. And then my top earning video, which is my one video still, you guys. And the reason why I wanted to show you this and stress the importance of, you know, of course when you start something, your goal is to wanna outdo a lot of things but there's going to be some videos that might not do well as others and you're just going to have to prepare yourself for that right so this video is doing tremendous and really knocking all of my other videos out of the water like all these videos i put all of the same effort maybe a little more a little less but the fact of the matter is this most viral video is still doing numbers. And so when you start your channel, just take heed of that because you might have a video that's gonna surpass every other, you know, everything else, but nonetheless, you're gonna gain money from it, okay? And then going back down to my revenue sources, I made more money from the ads. Not as much money from the premium revenue because with those accounts, you can skip the ads. Um, and then the ad types again are the skippable ones and so forth and so on. So now if I really wanted to go ahead and see what I've made overall, I'm gonna go ahead and do 2021. So this year, um, okay, it zoomed in for us, okay. Let me zoom back out, sorry. So this year I've made um, $1,515.96 with an RPM ranging around 915 or so but once you break that down per month the number is going to change then followed by my cpm which is what advertisers are uh, are paying to put you know ads on your videos so over the course of from march until april i've made fifteen hundred dollars and that's pretty cool to me because now i get to see the potential you guys and this is just truly an amazing you know view of how you can really drive your channel up if you really wanna see some really good money goals. Okay friends, so now that you've seen my analytics and my earnings starting YouTube and my first you know, month being monetized, I really hope that this motivates you to also do this for yourself. Also keep in mind that this can also help you either start a new business if you wanna do something outside of YouTube or if you're working your nine to five, which is what I was doing, you're gonna need extra money. And that's just the bottom line. You're gonna need extra money for everything that you wanna put into for your business. And so that's what I did. So I went ahead and started my channel. I just used my skills that I had learned throughout the time of starting my business, and I put that into my content. And I'm telling you, you can do the same exact thing, y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching my first YouTube paycheck video. I hope that this was motivating. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below for me and I'll be happy to answer anything that I know I can answer. But other than that, friends, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and choose yourself first. And I'll be back with another video. Bye, y'all.